Hi, this is Amit from Digital Inspiration and today we'll discuss Mail Merge. Now, Mail Merge, as you know, is a very interesting feature that helps you send personalized email messages to a large group of people with very little effort. So, for instance, if you're having a birthday party at your home, you can use Mail Merge to send personalized invites to all your friends. All you have to do is specify a list of email addresses, create a template and you're done. Now, in today's tutorial, we'll look at how you can use Mail Merge using Gmail and Google Docs. And you're not just limited to text emails, your mails can have attachments, inline images, you can even personalize the subject of individual emails. So let's do a quick demo now. Now imagine you're from Apple PR and you would like to invite a couple of prominent journalists for a one-on-one -on -one meeting with various Apple executives. So you'll prepare a spreadsheet something like this. The spreadsheet will have the names of journalists, the publication they work for, the executive they're meeting, the briefing date and the time and other details. Now switch to Gmail and write a sample email message that will act as a template for your mail merge program. So for instance, if you want a personalized subject, you can say you're meeting with executive name. Now, if you remember the spreadsheet, we had columns and each column had a name. For instance, we had columns like first name, executive name, publication, briefing date and, all, and so on. Now you can use these columns in your email template and they will be replaced with the actual values at the time of sending the email. So for instance, we'll use the executive name here. Now let's fill the body of this message. Remember you can use any field that's available as a column in uh, your spreadsheet. All you have to do is uh, prefix and suffix that column name with a percentage sign and also add a dollar sign indicating that it's a variable. This is a rich text email so you can have hyperlinks, you can change the formatting of fonts, you can even include uh, files with this email. So for instance let's convert this um, hotel address into a hyperlink so we'll just link it to the Google Maps website. Similarly, you can also attach files to your uh, mail merge template. You can include any number of files with your mail merge template. The only condition is that the total size of the message should not exceed 25 MB. That's a Gmail limitation. Once your Gmail draft is ready, just save it and switch to Google Spreadsheets. Now go to the mail merge menu and click start mail merge. The first time you run this spreadsheet, you will see this big warning box. Just click OK to authorize Google Docs to send emails on your behalf. And after that, go back to this sheet and click Mail Merge again. Now here you will see all the drafts that are available in your Gmail mailbox. Select the one corresponding to this Mail Merge program. You also need to fill in the sender's full name. This will be visible in the outgoing email messages, the from field of the outgoing email messages. Now you may also want to BCC these messages in case you would like to know whether the mails have been sent successfully or not. So just select that option and click the start mail merge button. So mail merge is now complete. Let's go back to Gmail to see how the messages look like. Now as you can see all the variables like briefing date, briefing time, first name, everything else has been replaced by actual values. So it's very difficult to tell whether somebody has used a mailing program or written those messages manually. Thanks.